are celebrating Hawaii Island, the biggest of the island chain. This morning, we're at Cafe 100, known for its local mocos. It's a longtime family business in Hilo that survived two tsunamis. We're here at Cafe 100 in Hilo, home of the local moco, where they sell about 10,000 local mocos a month. We're joined by Gloria Kobayashi, whose family started Cafe 100. Thank you for joining us oh, today. Thank you. It's a privilege. You yeah, know, it's a privilege for us to have you here. Now, more than 30 varieties here, right. and you have brought a few. Tell us what we're looking at. Okay. Well, the, the mainstay is the regular local moco with an egg and a quarter pound of hamburger steak on brown gravy and rice. This is a bacon loco, then there's a Portuguese sausage loco, and then we end with the two big ones. You notice they both have potato salad, potato macaroni salad. This is a super loco with a spam, two Portuguese sausage, two eggs, and then the Kilauea loco was invented to memorialize our volcano because underneath all of this mm -hmm. is chili flowing down the mountain and smoky sausages and spam. And you have more than 30 varieties. We certainly do. What is the secret behind a good local moco? Well, I think it's the gravy. We make our gravy from scratch and um, people tell us we have very good brown gravy. Another favorite is beef stew. Senator Inoue used to come to Cafe 100 to eat beef stew whenever he was in Hilo. My father started Cafe 100 after he returned from World War II. He was with the 100th Battalion, which is how we got the name. Uh, my father was Richard Miyashiro. My mom was Evelyn Miyashiro. And the joke is he learned to cook in the trenches in Italy. But anyway, he opened up the first cafe in Waikia Town. We opened in January 46. The April tsunami came, caused damage. And then 16 years later, my father built a brand new Cafe 100 across from the Wailoa boat ramp. That was May 2nd, 1960. Now you've survived Mother Nature, you've survived more than 70 years. What do you think is the secret to Cafe 100's success? My father always said, full stomach, give the customer the best food you can, make the prices reasonable, and I think he succeeded. We managed to continue the story, the success of the business. And even though you have more than 30 varieties right now of Locomoco, you say you're always open to suggestions. Yes, uh, if anybody wants to suggest another local, we certainly can have more varieties because we like to satisfy our customers. You like to satisfy your customers, and I guess there's never enough local moco varieties to go around, <laughs> right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Very sweet family out there in Hilo, and okay, so I did sample each one of those, <laughs> you know, just so. a little, just a little. I had to dig deep for my uh -huh. story, right? But um, the one with the chili, my the favorite, Kilauea. the Kilauea oh. one. I like the symbolism, and also the type of chili, the way they cook it, it reminds me of my childhood. You know, the kind of chili we grew up with, that's uh -huh. what it tastes like. And I like how she said that the key is the gravy, because I'm a big believer in that. And I can't believe that all the other stuff they have, including those bentos, look so delicious. Oh, yes, and she gets said beef stew is very popular, too. I'm All right, Cafe 100, check it out in Hilo. When we come back, we'll check on your surf and weather forecasts. But first, we'd like to celebrate with a few island families. It's Kiki first birthday time. We want to say happy first birthday this morning to Emiko Alamea Mao. Her favorite foods are Cheerios, Poi, and Tofu. We're told Emiko loves to play with her big brother, Cody. Happy first birthday from your entire Ohana. We also want to wish a big happy birthday to Nainoa Schultz. We're told Nainoa loves to kiss with headbutts. He enjoys playing with his big sisters and cousins at the pool and the beach. Happy first birthday from your entire Ohana and all of us here at Wake Up Today. Happy birthday.